the horse hurt you? No. Oh, good. All right. All right. This is cat and mouse go to Africa. And there's a picture of Africa. Wow. And cat and mouse. Now, to begin the story, here is cat and mouse lived in a very cozy house. Very nice. <laughs> Cat had never been outside. Mouse had lived outside before he found a hole and got into Cat's house. Inside, he told Cat, was much better. <laughs> One day, Cat's humans bought a television. They liked nature programs. Cat loved the ones about the animals in Africa. Hmm. She dreamt getting on a big boat, sailing the ocean to the land where giraffes live. She told Mouse he could come with her. Mouse said, first she had to get out of the house. He could use his mouse hole, but Cat was too fat to get through it. <laughs> Luckily, on one warm day, the humans opened a window to cool off. When no one was looking, Cat jumped through the window and Mouse followed. the ocean. Mm. Cat was very happy when they saw a lot of water. Mouse was not so sure they had found the ocean, but he knew they needed a boat. So Cat and Mouse sneaked on a ferry. Hmm. And they landed in a big, dark city. Hmm. They saw scary cats eating garbage. Mm. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck indeed. <laughs> Mouse said, let's get out of here. Those cats might eat me. <laughs> they looked up the road and they saw a giraffe sitting on a side. This must be the way to Africa, said Cat. They went up the road until they came to a fence. Giraffes and elephants were behind it. We're in Africa, said Cat. <laughs> Cat and Mouse kept walking. They saw lions, tigers, monkeys, and bears. They saw humans, big ones and little ones, holding balloons and eating hot dogs. 
I'm hungry, said Cat. I want to go home. It took a long way to find the way home. Finally, walking up a hill, they saw a sign with their pictures on it. Missing, it read. <laughs> Our humans are looking for us, said Hat, Cat. This must be the way home, said Mouse. I see our house. Is that a doggy? said Mom. In our window? said Cat. Hmm. <laughs> it was then that the human opened the door. The dog started barking. Cat hissed at the dog. Mouse ran into his hole. One human picked up the cat and petted it. The doggy stopped barking and sat down on Cat's very own rug to look at the TV. He was watching Cat's favorite show about giraffes. <laughs> Cat told Mouse, let's take him to Africa and lose him there. <laughs> Mouse said, our humans just put a cozy pillow next to him and three bowls of food. Hmm. Maybe we should postpone our trip for a while, Cat said, and settled on the cozy pillow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Aww. Aww. Yay. Yay. Lovely. So, and then, uh, that's me. Aww. Aww. You're going to pass it around. You were how old? Oh, I guess I must have been three. Oh, I, I think I was three or four. <laughs> Younger There's than six. I think I was four there. Now read that <laughs> Maybe page four. to us. Now read it. What yeah. does it say? Well, anyway, after I was a reporter in my other life, and uh, and I ended that career by writing a column on local history. And anyway, when we moved up here, I didn't want to write history anymore. So I found the uh, art studio at Willamette View and I began doing different things. And I came upon collages mm. and I just loved tearing up paper <laughs> <laughs> and cutting it. And, uh, and then these paper began telling me things huh. about what I should be doing with yeah. it, you know? And so that's how it came about that wow. I wrote the book. Wow. First I did the pictures, huh. this picture, and huh. see, I, that's my grandpa and my grandma. Oh, nice. And uh, it looked like when I found the little mouse, I thought I should just tell the story about the mouse. Because huh. he was one smart mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, that's wow. how it came about. Mm -hmm. so you